Good morning, everyone. This is Brother Stu here, back to Bible Videos. We acknowledge the Lord in all our ways. He may direct our path, and in all things, He alone get the glory. Thank God for thanking God for this opportunity for another video. Um, we just want to get started. Um, last video says we're going to do this topic on Islam. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I, as I reflected on it, don't feel the need to do too much on it. This is a Christian channel. But I just wanted to, um, for many people, you know, this is for everyone. This channel is for everyone. But um, for, for us believers that know about Islam and other so-called religions that are not supported by scripture, this ministry is for to win people to Christ, to, to, to bring clarity and understanding of who the Savior is. And that the Most High God is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. That being said, I wanted to talk about Islam because I said I dropped my boys off to school and I saw this Catholic school named Our Lady Fatima. And I was just shocked that it was called Fatima because anyone who has any common knowledge that Fatima was the daughter of Muhammad. So I was wondering why would a Catholic school name one of their institutions Fatima. Then I did some research and there's a place in Portugal, Fatima Portugal, where they say that the term Fatima is a is a name for the Virgin Mary. Whatever. And that some liar and deceiver said that the Virgin Mary appeared in this place in Portugal in the year 1917. That's nothing but a lie. The Virgin Mary didn't appear to anyone. Like I said before, according to the word of God, she is in the dust waiting for the resurrection, resurrection of the saints, just like those that, are, that have gone before or, or passed on at the same time around the time that she did. So Virgin Mary didn't appear to no one. And neither did the word of God instruct anyone to pray to Mary. Just throw that out there as well. Now, that I was explaining to my wife, I said, there's a close relationship with Islam and the Catholic Church. And you wonder why. And like I said, you have the two biggest so-called religions in the entire world that believe two different things. If, if push come to shove, one group will say the other is an infidel and unbeliever and that they're enemies to Islam. I guess you would label them the extremists. And yet, these two world majority of groups are so closely in a relationship. And this is a classic sign and deception of the devil. Number one, Fatima was Muhammad's daughter. There's no affiliation between Fatima and the Virgin Mary. That's number one. Out of the many wives that Muhammad had, I don't know how many, I just know of one that is predominantly known amongst all the wives, and that is Khadijah, which in my research, I can't speak for anyone else, that she was actually a Roman who converted to Islam. She was a Roman. And she converted to Islam when she became Muhammad's wife, one of his wives. So you have to understand that during this time, the Roman Empire had a strong hold on the world. And... And here come this new set that was growing rapidly fast, conquering, taking over, and spreading, 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 spreading all over, and dominating. And in, in war, in war, it's like 
when you realize, okay, you're on top, and you see this new group coming along, and they seem more vicious, uh, more fearless, and their numbers are seeming to be increasing, it's either in two things you can do. Either you just go to war and hope you win, or you design a measure of agreement. Because this thing was going to spread into Roman territory in Europe, and it still has to this day. And once you, it's like you, if you can't beat them, you join them, and you make make allegiance for the for the, I guess the so-called greater good. This may be hard to understand, and may, uh, may, uh, maybe I'm not doing a good job in in explaining my explaining the point. But we have to be understand. The works of the devil. The works of the devil is to deceive the whole entire world. To deceive the whole entire world. At the end of the day, he, he doesn't want anyone to be saved. So if you fall into the Muslim trap, he's, he's happy. If you fall into the Catholic trap, you're happy. And that's, the, that's his goal. Whatever trap he can get you in. He, the devil don't even care about making you believe that he don't even exist. You know that? He don't care. But there's, there's going to come a time where he's going to want you to believe in him and to worship him. You may say, well, that doesn't make sense. Why would he? Because at the end of the day, he just wants you to be lost. Glory to God in the highest. He wants you to be lost. But the scripture is when it talks about the Antichrist, when everyone he wants everyone to see himself as God. That he he's 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 going to want the atheist to to think that way. He don't care. He's 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 the author of confusion. He don't care about you thinking one thing now and then thinking you something the other, think you thinking something else the other. Let's back to Islam. So the Romans allowed. Islam to to spread only but to certain areas so they 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 actually enabled them to conquer certain areas in the world you don't have to take my word for it do your own research do your own research and you think to myself why does why is that why is that And usually when you have, in order to bring alle allegiance between two opposing parties, you usually have to deal with the female. Sad to say, that's how it is. Women have been, you know, it's sad that, that women and men have been, have been pawns in, in, in certain s situations to further more evil. So you have Khadijah, this Roman, who, who married Muhammad. First of all, let me backtrack. First of all, Islam is not even that old of a religion. Regardless of what they try to tell you, Islam is not that old. And then they want to tell you, oh, that Islam had, were, was long before Muhammad came along. That's a lie, according to, their own, according to their own teachings. If you look up anywhere, it says Islam was founded by Muhammad. So how did it... If he founded Islam, how did it start before Islam? They want to tell you that it, it came from Abraham. No, it didn't. Abraham didn't start no religion. The Bible talks about Abraham being the father of many nations, not the father of many religions. Yes, Isaac was his younger son and Ishmael was his oldest son. But Abraham never started a religion. Abraham never started a religion. So that's a lie. It didn't start with Abraham. That's a lie. Muhammad was born 600, 500, I just looked at 570 AD after, after, after Jesus Christ. And he died 632, something like that. He died young. And, um, and another lie they say is that 
Arabic was the first language. That's another lie. We don't know what the first language was. I don't. Maybe you do. I don't know what the first language was. Because I know that when the Lord, God, the whole earth was one language and the people were one, God came down and confounded the language at the Tower of Babel and they could not communicate with no, any, no one any longer. We don't know what that language was. They want to say it's Arabic because Arabic is the language of the Quran. Well, the Bible says called Abraham a Hebrew. Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic are very similar in their dialect, but they're different. So when you see, it's, 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 so you can see the level of pride. There's too many holes in, into the story of Islam to give it credibility. Now I'm hitting missing here because like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on this. There's a point I want to get to all this. There's a point where I'm going to get to all this. The relationship between them and the Catholic Church. And they want to say that Ishmael was the promised child because he was the firstborn. That was the child that Abraham was going to offer up and sacrifice. That's not correct either. And you say, why, why not, Brother Stu? Because the Bible says Isaac was taken up to be offered. The son of Sarah, not of Hagar. Now, they wanted to change it. So they had to change what was written in their book to fit their agenda, to fit their belief. Because Muhammad felt that he was of the descendants of Ishmael. That's his business. That doesn't change what was written in the word of God. And then Muslims want to tell you that they believe the prophets. They believe Moses. How can you believe the prophets and Moses and don't accept Jesus Christ? Because that's what he spoke of. Then he said, oh, Moses said, a prophet, the Lord your God shall raise up, or Allah shall raise up like unto me of your brethren. They say that's Muhammad. That's a lie because Muhammad is not of Moses' brethren. Glory to God in the highs. Moses was of Israel, was of, the, was of the tribe of Israel. Ishmael didn't come from none of those tribes. He didn't come from any of those tribes. So how could he be his brother? Oh, he's talking about going back to Abraham? Now, that's not who Moses was talking about. He said, of your brother. And he was talking to the children of Israel. So that, that proves that, that Moses was not talking about Muhammad. Mm -hmm. We can go all day long, back and forth with the Quran and the Bible. It, 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 there's no change in the word of God. And I'm not talking out of my head, neither. I grew up with an Islam family. Around them. Matter of fact, my middle name is associated with the Islamic religion, but it's not an Islamic name. So now I correct people. It's an Arabic name. My middle name is, is has an Arabic meaning or Middle Eastern meaning or East African meaning. Whatever you want to call it. So when they say, oh, you have a Muslim name. I said, no, I don't. Well, your name is Muslim. It's no, I said, no, it's not. It's an Arabic name. It's a meaning Arab. It's, it's associated predominantly with people of the Islamic religion, but it's not a Muslim name. It's because you have to, sometimes you have to listen and learn and understand that people are so programmed ignorantly. Now, let's get to the point when I was paid 14 minutes in. I want to get to this point about uh, the relationship with the Catholic Church and Islam and why 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 is it so important the deception of the devil how this is here it is now Islam is broken into one two three four different groups one is ex is classified as being extinct you have the Ahmadiyya group which is also a branch of the Sunni. Then you had the Shia, then you had 
um, I'm, I'm going to get this wrong. Kawa Kawa Reach. I you be good at this stuff, but not when I never heard of that one. Abadia, okay, Abadia, which is considered extinct. Now, on the Sunni, you have the Hanifa, Hanafi, the Hanbali, the Maliki, and the Shafi, and the Barelvi, all the different different groups. Then you have the Sufi, the orders of the Tariqa, and there's a whole list of different branches sprung from from Islam. Then you have the Shia breaking down in this Sevner, Nizari, Mustali, and the Druze religion. Then you have the Jafri. It's like 12 different separations from the Shia. And you have several different ones from the Sunni. Then you have this other branch that has another 10 different ones that sprung all under the banner of Islam. Here is supposed to be one religion broken up into all the different parts. They don't believe 100% the same thing, but variations of it and hold to some traditional, I guess, normal standards of the whole umbrella Islam. Doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't that sound familiar? That's why I said the Church of Jesus Christ was never a part of the Catholic Church. If you look at the Reformation and Protestant movement, all those people that broke away from the Catholic Church, all those splinter cells, yes, they didn't want to be under the Pope. They didn't agree with what all the Pope was talking about with, with Roman Catholicism, but they still held to certain things of, still of the Catholic Church. You can go through the, you can do your own research and look at all the so-called denominations that broke away from the Roman Catholic Church, just like what broke away from Islam. All those splinter groups, even though they say, oh, no, we're not Catholic, we broke away from the Catholic, but yet you still hold to a lot of their teachings and their doctrine because you modify some things to fit what you believe. You claim that you're, not, that you're no different, but you're exactly the same thing according to the Word of God. And you see, you have these two world religions, the biggest world religions in the world, broken up into the, all these splinters all across the world. You say, well, how is the connection? The connection is the devil. That's what the connection is. The connection is the devil. They say, they call the Pope the Holy Father. That's blasphemy. God is the Holy Father. They say he, he has sovereign authority over the church. No, he doesn't. The Bible says that, that not as being lords over God's heritage. He has these priests in, 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 in these little confessionals forgiving sins. Only God can forgive sins. We confess our faults and pray one for another, but God's the one that forgives sins. But yes, and um, I lost my train of thought because I had a call come through. So that that's why, and you notice that they in in this word today went all these um, look who's being persecuted, Christians. But I thought Catholics were supposed to be Christians. Now I'm not wishing that. I'm not, I'm not wishing that anybody get, get, get attacked or hurt. We got to ask yourself. Christians are being attacked. Left and right. I don't hear where Catholics are getting attacked. Not that I want them to. But, but you have to understand why. But I, I thought they are Christians too. Well, they know they're not Christians. I remember, what was it, one of the popes a long time ago they had this agreement with one of the, the top imams. They shook hands and whatever, this unity between the Islam and the Catholic Church. You understand why that is? 
it's always it was there was always an, an allegiance between them two. They were, they were, <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm going to tell you a little story about the ignorance of people that follow stuff and don't even know why they follow it. And as a, as a, as a brother, when I mean brother, I mean as a black man, for lack of a better word, when I see like young bl black men going after Islam and going after five percenters and going after the, um, the nation of Islam, it, 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 it hurts me because they say you so ignorant to follow something that that this use that uses you for their for their own for their own agenda just because they speak some words that you like to hear calling the white man the devil but little do you know those the, those people that program you say oh the white man is the devil them same high skinned arabs that that you follow check white on the application because if you look on the application it says white having any origins in North um, Africa, Europe, or the Middle East. So, so they call they teaching you to say, oh, the white man is the devil, but yet they categorize themselves as that same white devil. I let that, sit, I let that sink into your head real quick. No, I don't believe the, all, the white man is the devil. I don't believe the black man is the devil. I believe the devil uses anybody and deceives whoever he can, regardless of their color. So I'm not going to put that label on a whole color of people. All, all ethnicities and colors of people have done wickedness in this world. God, I'm not going to judge me because of the color of my skin. He's not going to judge the white man because of the color of his skin. He's going to judge us all by the deeds that, that were done in our body. So you got these five percenters out there and these nation of Islam people were running the streets and and pointing fingers and, and some of their communities is the most drug infested communities of all. A lot of them are selling the drugs in the, in the streets, calling themselves a Muslim. You don't even know why you're a Muslim. You don't even know when that first came into America and why it came into America. And that brings me to my closing story. I was at, working at the airport years ago. And this is show you the ignorance. And it was a young man, a really young man. He may not even think he was even in his 20s. And there was another young fella from a, a, a Spanish-speaking country. And the, and the, the Latino, the, the Spanish fella said, um, I think he was from Colombia. He said, Asalaamu Alaikum. Which just means peace be unto you. He said nothing wrong. He said nothing disrespectful. And then this other guy got so irate and angry and wanted to fight him and start saying, you're not a Muslim. You're not supposed to say that. Only Muslims are supposed to say that. You're not a Muslim. You're not supposed to say that. And usually I don't get in people's stuff. But at that point, I, I, I could not refrain for, to, in, to, to correct him on his ignorance. I said, no. It has nothing to do with Islam. All he said was, peace be unto you. When Jesus said in the scripture in Aramaic, peace be unto you, when he walked through the doors and met the disciples, what, what, what do you think he was saying? Even the even Hebrew, shalom aleichem, peace be unto you. That's not associated with Islam. That's another language for saying peace be unto you. But he wanted to fight this guy. I say, hold on, man. He didn't say nothing wrong. All he's saying is peace be unto you. He like, only a Muslim supposed to say that. He's not a Muslim. He's supposed... So I saw like then then I, then 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 then, then, then would top it off because his ignorance. He don't even know why he is a Muslim. His own self. All he knows is his daddy, his granddaddy, and his great 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 granddaddy were Muslims, because he was from a country in the continent of Africa. So he don't even know why he even believed the way he believed because that's all he know because he doesn't realize that his country was conquered. By, by a Muslim group from the Middle East who conquered his country and, and made them believe that and took their language and also controlled their religion. That's what conquerors do. They take the women, enslave the men, program them, take their language, and, take their, and, and change their religion. And he was from one of those countries. And he don't even know it. 
So he wanted to fight this, this Spanish guy for saying peace be unto you because his, his deception was so deep. And it's sad because I know Muslims all from all over. And I, he, he, that is the first time I encountered something like that. I, I know is Muslims from Morocco, from, from Oman, from, from UAE, from Saudi Arabia, all over. And when I, when I say peace be unto you, they respond back with respect because it's all it is is a greeting. And here this African who don't even know why he is a Muslim is going to fight someone for using a greeting of peace be unto you. Now think about that. Think about that. Think about that. I've never been confronted by a Muslim at, for, for saying peace be unto you or assalamu alaikum unto them as being disrespectful because I wasn't a Muslim. And they know I was a Christian. They know I'm a Christian. They never, never respond to me in that fashion. But that, that, goes, to, that goes to show you. That goes to show you. I kind of got off the subject between a relationship with Islam and Catholics. Because it... it because the relationship is the of the of the devil. Anything that goes contrary to the word of God is of the devil. So it's, it should be no great mystery that these groups are going to link up in the last days. Because see, when the Romans was in power, they persecuted the apostles. Why? They because they did not conform to the Roman system and they were persecuted and many of them was killed because they stood and hooked and held to the faith that's what we supposed to do but but countries like his and others and all over all over they're they they wanted to conform but the apostles didn't do that the apostles of jesus christ didn't do that that's why i keep saying the church of jesus christ was never a part of the catholic church and we are not, if you're a part of the body of Jesus Christ, you are not a Protestant. Glory to God in the highest. Let's look up Protestant movements. If they all left the Catholic Church for the same thing, then they, they should all believe the same thing. But we know they don't. Let's see how many branches it is. Wow, amazing. It is the, it is the second largest form, form of Christianity. Worldwide of nearly 40% of all Christians. Now, like, like, like my brother World Prophet said, some of them did it out of good reason. A lot of them did it out of good reason. A lot of, you know, I, 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 I can't judge these men. Look at the names of some of these people and on here that I have some, some knowledge of. They, you know, they did it out of good reason. They did it out of good reason. This is what I wanted to see. Lutheranism. Angli Anglicanism. Calvinism. Methodism. This is what he was talking about, about denominations. You dem demoted yourself, denominated yourself from the original, from the original church. Because all these things, that all those different um, denominations I said, believe a different thing. Yet they all four hold to still some of Mother Catholic. Even Adventist, Adventism, Adventist. This thing has so many lists of um, different things. And a baptism. I don't even know what that is. Anglican. Baptist. Calvinism. Lutheranism. 
Methodism, Pentecostalism. Oh, Pentecostalism is a part of the Protestant movement, huh? Told you we wasn't that. Glory to God in the highest. Other Protestants. Look, there's a whole list. Just like the list I was, um, forgive me for not being able to pronounce certain, certain terms, the, the breakdown of Islam, all those sprinter groups have their own little different beliefs, but still hold to the core of what Islam believes. Just like most of these Protestant groups have different variations of belief, but still hold to the core of what the Catholics established. Look, this list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It's a, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah, but um, I just want I want you the believers and those that are watching that don't be don't be concerned. Glory to God in the highest. Don't be concerned. You know, the word of God is right. And 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 these last Nebu days, the Christian faith is is under attack on all fronts. On all fronts. And my pastor said not too long ago, he said, because there's so much compromise and and deception and things and, 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 and acceptance of things that are not biblical, it's hard to even tell the real church. It's hard to tell. And to be honest, you know, I'm not judging anybody, but I, I listen to gospel music and, and sometimes I like to just hear the words. I glory to God. If it wasn't for the words, I probably wouldn't even listen to a lot of these artists. I'm just being true, telling the truth. Because if I see that video or, or 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 their appearance, I know it's not it's not all about appearance, but it, it does play a part. But sometimes when I see them and how they how they carry themselves and how they behave, I, I don't even want to look at it. So I just rather be somewhere. I just want to hear the words. Let the hear the words that. Let the words minister unto me and encourage me, whatever like that. Because if I see them perform, I'll be totally turned off. I'll be totally, totally turned off. Because it's now, it's like, you know, a lot of the female singers, it's like they can't sing without now trying to preach in their song. I'm like, I'm like, okay, you have a lovely voice. You have a great ministry in singing and, in, and encouraging people through, through song. Stick to that. Why you got to ruin it? Why you got to ruin it? I know I'm going to get them thumbs down for that. So what? I don't, I don't, that's not. Go ahead. You had that right. But I'm telling the truth. Like, I'm like, why you got to preach in your song? Just go ahead and sing the song and, and, and bless people and, and go on about it. And, you know, <laughs> Lord, I thank you. All right. That's my topic today. Um, pray for us. We mean well. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ.